Tennessee Titans. I think a lot of people uh, were really impressed with the way you had played in college, your film, and, and uh, things like that. Uh, you obviously you wouldn't have drafted like that because of your size. Uh, is that going to be a particular chip on your shoulder heading into the NFL trying to prove to people like I can play at a smaller size? Uh, yes, I think about that every day, uh, especially when I'm training. <clears throat> Being running back for the Tennessee Titans, obviously, last year, you guys had the way was led with DeMarco and Derrick Henry. Now that DeMarco's not on the team, now he's officially retired. Um, how do you see that pan out for yourself as far as more snaps and potential for more play on the field? Uh, it's definitely an opportunity. You know, we start camp uh, next week and um, just going to take it day by day. And um, every day is an opportunity. Just got to uh, find a way to earn a spot. After now, with cover one. Uh, with Matt LaFleur, LaFleur being the new office, office coordinator in Tennessee, can you tell us what you think about his offensive system so far? Um, so far, you know, it's a um, good offense, you know, um, similar to um, my college offense, but um, I'm still learning, so, you know, we've been having fun in camp, so I just I still got to learn some things. Here, go to Bob. On a team that has not just one but two established backs like uh, Deion and Derek. Do you see that as a challenge because you're practically you're not just one of the two guys, or do you look at it as a blessing because you have these two guys to learn and watch different styles and different techniques that they have? Um, it's a little bit of both, you know. Uh, Dion, you know, great guy you can learn from. Derek, also, um, but at the same time, you know, you're competing with him every day, so it's, it's you know, take both. You know, it's fifty-fifty. What was it about Tennessee that made you want to go there after the draft when you were evaluating which teams to go? Uh, you know, I just uh, had a good feeling about Tennessee. Got some family out in Tennessee, and um, I felt like that would be the um, best, you know, best place for me to uh, play. Can you tell us about your Daniel Dyer Media? Can you tell us about your time on the field with Marcus Mariota and how you know things are shaping out for the season? Uh, you know, so far it's been you know it's been a really good time. You know, we've been having a lot of fun. We've been grinding. And um, like I said, we start camp next week and just going to continue to get better. Thank you. Up here. Oh, that was more or less my question, but I feel on the film. Um, keeping it in the tone of Mariota, what have you been able to see from him already as far as your interactions with him this offseason that you feel is going to help you as a running back and be you know, successful in your own thing? Oh, Mariota, you know, he's a, um, so far, you know, from Brawler, he's a good leader on and off the field. Um, as far as on the field, he can, you know, really accurate. He, he can scramble, he can run. And um, like I say, off the field, he's a good guy, you know, really humble, and um, he works hard. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.